If you like the look of traditional butt hinges on cabinets, but you don't want to chisel or route mortises for them, these no mortise hinges have the same look as a butt hinge from the outside, but they're much easier to install. In this video, I'm going to show you how. Despite the popularity of Euro-style hinges, I still like to see the knuckle of a traditional butt hinge like this when a cabinet door is inset inside of a face frame so the door and the face frame are flush. But this isn't a traditional butt hinge, and you'll see what I mean when we look inside. On a butt hinge like this brass one, you'd have to cut one mortise into the edge of the door for one hinge leaf and another mortise into the edge of the face frame for the other hinge leaf. But this is a no mortise wraparound hinge. Its hinge leaves are bent to 90 degrees and one hinge leaf wraps around the back of the face frame while the other hinge leaf wraps around the back of the door. And both hinge leaves simply screw in place, no mortises. And here's how to install this first style of no mortise hinge, the wraparound style. Here I've got a sample face frame cabinet and a frame and panel cabinet door that's already sized to fit inside this face frame with about a sixteenth inch of reveal all the way around. This smaller hinge leaf mounts to the back and edge of the cabinet door and this larger hinge leaf mounts to the edge of the face frame. I like to position hinges on cabinet doors so the outside ends of these knuckles line up with the inside edges of the top and bottom rails. Now this isn't a hard and fast rule, but it's fairly common practice and it looks good. We'll mount the hinges to the cabinet door first. To do that, mark two layout lines across the door styles on the back face that line up with the inside edges of the rails. Extend these lines around to the edge of the door too. Now set the hinges into place on the door. Position each hinge so its larger face frame leaf aligns with the layout line you just drew on the door's edge. I'm going to use a 3 32nd inch self-centering bit to drill pilot holes for these number 6 hinge screws. Carefully hold the door side hinge leaf in place so you can bore a pilot hole in the center of each of the slotted hinge leaf holes. And then go ahead and install the screws. If you center these screws in the hinge slots, you'll have a little bit of wiggle room to move the door out a little bit after it's hung to center it in the face frame opening. Now lay the cabinet on its back and prop the door up by some means. I'm using a plywood box and some scrap spacers. So you can set the door in place beside the cabinet in the open position. Move the door up or down as needed on the face frame to create a fairly even reveal between the top and bottom edges of the door and the face frame rails. Now carefully mark the positions of the face frame side hinge leaves with a pencil or marking knife so you'll know where they need to be. And go ahead and install these hinge leaves, driving the screws into the edge of the face frame. Center the screws inside the slotted holes. Now stand the cabinet up carefully so you can check for door swing. Hopefully it closes with an even reveal all the way around. But if it doesn't, you can make adjustments. Do that by loosening the hinge screw slightly and moving the door up or down and horizontally to improve the fit. Then retighten the screws. And once you've got the door where it needs to be, install the rest of the screws in the hinge leaf holes. And don't forget, but two of these screws are angled into the back of the face frame. So that takes care of installing wraparound style no mortise hinges. But there's a second style. With this style, the hinge leaves are flat and the smaller door side hinge leaf nests inside of the larger face frame or cabinet side hinge leaf but the installation process is largely the same. And because this isn't a real project, I'm going to use the opposite side of the same cabinet door and cabinet for this installation. Start by marking two layout lines across the door styles on the back face that line up with the inside edges of the rails and extend those layout lines around to the door edges. We're going to install these hinges on the cabinet door first. So if possible, clamp the door with the hinge edge facing up where it's easier to see and work on. Now close up the hinge leaves and place the hinge on the edge of the door so the knuckle is oriented towards the outside face. Now position the hinge so the outer edge of the larger face frame leaf aligns with the layout line on the edge of the door. Hold the hinge carefully in place and drill pilot holes for screws to attach the smaller hinge leaf to the door. Use a self-centering 3 32nd inch bit. 
Drive in the screws to attach this first hinge leaf, then repeat the process for the second hinge. We're ready to attach the larger hinge leaves to the face frame to hang the door. So once again, I've got my cabinet laying on its back and the door propped up on a box with some spacers so I can work on it more easily. If you look closely here, these flat leaf no mortise hinges are less forgiving than the wraparound style were because these screw holes aren't slotted this time. I can't adjust them. And this slotted hole here is meant for applications where the hinge leaf is mounting directly to the cabinet wall and not to a face frame. So I want to be real careful to find an even inset between the cabinet door and the face frame before I drill these screw pilot holes. Here I'm using a small straight edge as a spacer on the top and bottom of the face frame to check the door's position. I'm going to go ahead and clamp the door and face frame together just to make sure the door won't move. Then I'm drilling only one pilot hole per hinge so I can hold each hinge in place with just a single screw for now. Now I can check the door swing and reveals. Yeah, these look pretty good. So I can go ahead and drill the other pilot holes and install the second screws to complete this installation. Now our installation process worked out fine, but as I suggested, if we had installed these flat leaf no mortise hinges on a cabinet without a face frame, we would have had even more adjustability. We could have used these slotted holes in back, which would have provided plenty of leeway to move the door up or down as needed before driving in these other screws. But with this face frame cabinet, those slotted holes couldn't help us. So that's how you install no mortise hinges in either wraparound or flat leaf styles. You'll get that classic butt hinge look from the outside the easy way. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworkers Journal Magazine and Rockler, and thanks for watching.